Hello, year four, and this is Friday's maths lesson. So this lesson is just a big quiz for you on everything that we have um, learnt about time this week. So I'm going to go through each question. There are 10 questions and um, I'll pause a little bit after each question. But if you need more time, just remember, you can just pause the video. So I'll go through all the questions first and then I'll go back to the beginning and then I'll go through the answers. So, good luck year four. Question one. What's the time in words on this clock? Remember, you can pause the video if you need more time to work this one out. Question two. Convert 01.17pm to 24-hour digital. Question three, what is the time on the clock in 12 hour digital? So you're just writing it in digital time in the 12 hour. Okay. Question four, convert 1740 to 12 hour digital. Don't forget your AMs or PMs in your 12 hour digital. Okay, question five. Write this time in words 0, 09, 10 AM. Good job, everybody. Question six, what is the time in 12 hour digital? It's the time on the clock, what is that time in 12 hour digital? Okay. Question seven, convert 1435 to 12 hour digital. Don't forget, you can always pause the video if you need a little bit more time to work it out. Question eight. I put a cake in the oven at 20 past 11 in the morning and took it out 20 minutes later. What time did I take it out? Give your answer in 12 hour digital. So you need to think about your AM and PM on this question. Question nine, I started my nap at 14.30 and I slept for three hours. What time did I wake up? Give your answer in 24 hour time. Okay, and question 10. The time is 13.45. I need to leave school at 15.30. How long do I have left? Okay, well done everybody. Just remember you can always pause the video, skip back if you need another question, if you miss one out. Um, That's up to you. So I'm going to go through the answers now and I'm just going to quickly whiz all the way back to the start. And question one. What's the time in words on this clock? So well done if you said it is 10 past eight in the morning. Give yourself a big tick. Question two. Convert 0117 p.m. to 24 hour digital. And if you put 1317 as your answer, then massive well done. Give yourself a big tick. Question three. What is the time on the clock in 12 hour digital? It is 10.35 p.m. Well done if you've got that correct. Question four. 
Question four. Convert 1740 to 12 hour digital. And the answer is 0540 p.m. Well done if you've got that correct. Question five. Write this time in words. So what, 0, 9, 10 a.m. It should be 10 past 9 in the morning. Well done if you've got that correct. Don't worry if you've got a couple wrong. Just remember, you need to just keep practicing your time and it will one day just click into place and you'll be able to tell the time. So don't worry if you're getting some of these wrong. It's not a problem, but massive well done for giving it a go and being resilient and keep going with it. Good job, everybody. Question six. What is the time in 12 hour digital? You should have had Siri 3.40 a.m. Making sure you're looking at this hour hand really closely. It's not quite at the four yet. So my hour is still three o'clock. Question seven. Convert 14.35 to 12 hour digital. And it is zero to 35 p.m. Well done if you remember to put your p.m. there. Okay, question eight. I put a cake in the oven at 20 past 11 in the morning and I took it out 20 minutes later. What time did I take it out? And give your answer in 12 hour digital. You should have had 11.40 a.m. So well done if you've got your a.m. It's still in the morning. Smash in. Question nine. I started my nap at 14.30 and slept for three hours. What time did I wake up? Give your answer in 24 hour time. You should have had 17.30. So it's half past five. And then question 10. The time is 13.45. I need to leave school at 15.30. How long do I have left? And your answer is one hour, 45 minutes. Well done if you've got that correct. And well done if you've got 10 out of 10. Well done um, if you've got a couple wrong, but you gave it a go. I'm really, really proud of you all. Anyway, have an amazing weekend, um, year four. And I'll speak to you all next week. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.